Hey guys, uh, it's Kaz at Diesel Doctor and just wanted to make a quick video to show you something that we come across pretty often. Um, and it's, um, today we're working on a 6.4 liter uh, engine that um, had a spun main. And uh, it's not just when they spin mains. A lot of times we'll see distortion. Of, now, if you, or for, you, for me with the uh, 6.0 and 6.4 design, which is a fantastic design as far as the bed plate's concerned, you'll see that these two pieces of metal here look completely different. One is actually a bed plate uh, and I'm looking around to see if I might have something to show you but I don't. Anyways the bed plate basically takes uh, the place of all five mains and then uh, it's bolted uh, to the block to add uh, structural support but it's not like a main cap you know whereas a main cap like on a uh, Duramax would would look something like this right and it would be located over here on the Duramax, the bed plate on the 6.4 and 6.0s are much stronger, okay? Well, I say all that to tell you this, uh, if, you're, if your builder or your machinist isn't checking, and it's kind of nice for us because this particular machine uh, uses a, a locator. If you can look down inside there, um, you'll see that on the mains it locates here and here, and then at the top where you can split, see this split uh, kind of a uh, round piece of metal right below my finger is a cam locator. So once you bolt it in, it locks it into place and lines the center line up of the cam and the crank. The problem with it is, is when you have stuff that either spins the main or um, it, it's not always that it that it's completely spun a main. Sometimes if the block gets hot enough, it'll actually distort it um, without causing uh, the main to be spun. But we know it instantly because when we try to load this thing on our machine, it just doesn't want to go because the diameter is, is no longer the same. The twisting effect that takes place on these, um, uh, on this um, main bore, uh, will you can actually feel with your finger just barely. Sometimes uh, the uh, uh, you can feel a little bit of an overhang, and I say that so that. You'll know if your guy that is doing your machine work isn't checking this. And most machines do not uh, fixture off the mains and off the, the cam. What they generally do is they'll lock them into a fixture. Basically, they'll sit in a setup, like a V-block type setup. And then they'll bore off uh, to do this. But they'll never know that. And y the problem with it is, is if you build that engine and your clearances aren't right on your center line of your your crank, then you're going to wind up having issues again with um, with the crankshaft. So it's extremely important. Again, like like I said, this kind of affords us uh, a simple, quick check on this because the tolerance uh, is ground uh, within uh, I think it's like six tenths uh, of a thousand. So it allows us to make sure that uh, we don't have any issues with the center line, and then we go back and recheck that as well. And this block here, after it's after it's bored uh, and we've got everything situated in the machine, after it's bored correctly, uh, we'll go back through and we're going to mainline bore uh, the, uh, uh, the, the, the mains. But anyways, that's something extremely important to check and to note. And like I say, most guys aren't checking those things because uh, it's just one more step that they really don't want to have to do. But um, anyways, that's uh, some information that you, can, uh, that you can process there. Thanks for watching.